Hi, this is Piotr Walczyn again. So this is our uh, fifth and the last uh, episode of getting started with a reflow uh, series. Okay, so uh, in this episode we'll learn how you can test your design uh, not only running in a browser on your uh, computer but also on the devices. And for that we'll use Edge Inspect tool which also nicely integrates with Reflow. Uh, so if you don't have Inspect yet installed you can go to Adobe Creative Cloud, so Creative Adobe Com, uh, log in there with with your uh, Adobe ID and download and install um, an Edge Inspect. And once it's installed, you have to run it and sign up with your Adobe ID again through to that tool. Now, we can go ahead and open the last uh, and the fourth uh, step of our tutorial tutorial which is testing and let's see what we have here. So this is uh, our almost complete design and in this case it has uh, four media queries and it looks pretty good. Uh, well when I tested with uh, common F12 or control F12 in the browser it is really really good. So when I scale down everything is perfect. Also you can see if you uh, happen to have Responsive Inspector which is actually a Chrome extension that I created and it's available in Chrome Web Store. You can actually see the defined media queries uh, through here and play around, maybe check you know, uh, how each resolution will work uh, on you know, on your computer. Uh, so I encourage you just a side note here if you didn't see yet Responsive Inspector give it a try and you can use it for any website uh, uh, on the web and see how its structure what media queries it has defined. Alright so um, that was just a side note. Now let's go in and first of all let me show you my screen of my uh, iPhone. So I'll use Air Server just to stream uh, this uh, the the view of my screen and let me pop up here we go just turn on the mirroring okay this is my iPhone and I should have inspect installed so let's look for edge inspect yes there it is and well let, let me just bring it a bit so it's a little bit bigger and you can see it did actually connect right now to my browser which is running in the back here and I have already inspect also as a plugin installed there but well this is not something I want let me just turn that guy off and turn off the browser okay now let's go back here and let's go back to uh, reflow and let's put those two tools side by side so you will see how I enable it. So I click here, I enable it and I can see it's now detected my uh, device here. There we go. So we're now connected and I can see that on my iPhone uh, which has uh, the resolution uh, right now is 320 which is like 50% of 640 which is the physical resolution uh, because of the retina display and so in the 320 pixels wide uh, in a portrait mode my title here doesn't really look good so what I can do I can of course go down uh, with my design and oh there it is there's is some this is the point when it starts breaking exactly the same as on my device so I can go back maybe to here like this at the breakpoint of course and maybe just make a move so it's here and now I can pull it up and you can see it actually in the real time it refreshes and I can see that those changes which I apply in reflow I can see those in real time on my device and if I had more devices so maybe also my iPad connector or connected or an Android device I could see this change also apply on those devices of course not only layout like positioning if I maybe wanted to change just a little bit the font size oh there you go that would be even nicer so let's uh, pull it down yeah something like this somewhere in the middle of the reflow icon okay perfect and now I'm really uh, sure that my design 
will look and behave really beautiful no matter of the device I'm running on. So on the desktop, on mobile phones, on tablets, everywhere it will be a really uh, good looking design. Okay, so I hope that uh, series was helpful for you and uh, you will be able to now uh, design responsive layouts yourself. Thank you very much and bye.